Today, I shall discuss agricultural geography, a topic that is the crop diversification index as per Gibbs and Martin's technique. So, agricultural diversification is a is nothing new. Actually, diversification means harvestation of several crops in several seasons in a single piece of land. So, what is diversification? It is a change in product choice of input based market forces and the principle of profit maximization. Best defined crop diversification as a shift from less profitable enterprises to more profitable enterprises, which is based on the farmers responses to price signals according to their efforts to adjust and changes in the market. He justified agricultural diversification because it leads to greater income generation along with stabilization of income over the seasons. That means, the farmers choose agricultural diversification to gain profit throughout the year, so that one region is not avoid to gain income, helps to attain mass fuller employment level by the farm household throughout the year farmers can engage, laborers can engage in agricultural fields if diversification is there, helps conservation and enhancement of natural resources, conservation practices can be done. Basically, agricultural diversification is necessary for the farmers to gain profit from crops. If the certain crops price is fallen or downward, then there will be great loss for the farmer society. So, that is why they choose diversification because if one crop become losing item, the other crops price may be maximum. Thus, they can balance their income throughout the year. Now, according to Gibbs and Martin's technique, crop diversification index is the 1 minus sum of x square by sum x square. What is x? x is nothing but a particular crop area that is cultivated in a certain aerial unit. According to this technique, crop diversification varies from 0 to 1. 0 means diversification is nil. If any area is only monocrop area, then certainly obviously there will be value 0. But if maximum crops are cultivated, then it will be 1. Generally, such 0 and 1 is not possible in practice because monocrop, if there is monocrop as per crop combination techniques, obviously there are other crops too, but little importance, but there are certain other crops too. And maximum diversification, there is no limit of maximum. That why, that is why in reality that value 0 to 1 is actually ranges from 0 0.1 to 0 0.9. Generally, higher the index, higher the diversification and lower the index, lower the diversification. If the index came closer to 1, that means the diversification will be higher. One table is actually taken here, table 1 that is crop area of different crops. These are given data that there are 10 blocks in a district and different crops and their cultivation areas are given and by adding these values, we are we can get, get the sum. Like for A block, rice is harvested in 160 acres, hectares, wheat in 40 hectares, pulses in 200 hectares, oil seeds in 700 hectares, jute in 180 hectares, tea 100 hectares and the vegetables 120 hectares to total area is 1500 hectares. Such way all the 
crops are given here from this value first we have to find out the percentage of different cropped area in a block like for rice in a block how how we can get the percentage of rice in a block percentage area of rice cultivated in a block simply by dividing that 160 uh, by 1500 and multiplying by 100 so 160 by 1500 into 100 we will get the percentage area of rice for wheat it is actually 40 by 1500 into 100 these are the values like rice 10.67 percentage area in A block out of total crops, wheat 2.667 that wheat was actually 40 hectares in A block and that 40 hectares out of 1500 hectares it is it will be 200 2.67 uh, percent. So, that table 2 is prepared on the basis of the information that was shared in table 1. So, these are the nothing but the percentage area of different crops in a single block. So, um, and by adding this we will definitely get 100 because percentage means it is out of 100. So, total value will be 100 and from that table 2 we should have to calculate table 3 that is sum of x square. So, how the percentage share of rice was 10.67. If we multiply that 10.67 by 10.67, it will be 113.7778. That means 10.767 square value. Wheat, for wheat it is 2.67. If we multiply 2.67 by 2.67, it will be 7.11111 such way we can um, get the squared value that is the sum of x square by adding these all for particular block like for a block if we add the all the crops percentage sorry squared value then we will get 2728.889 and what is sum x square sum x square means total was 100 percent 100 into 100 it will be 10,000. So, how we will get the um, Gibbs Martin index that is 1 minus sum x square by sum x square. So, uh, 1 minus 2728.889 minus uh, that by sorry by that 10,000 we will get 0 0.73 and for b block 1642.308 that is the sum x square that is the sum x square. So, this total figure is nothing but this sum x square ok because all are all these are x. So, x square. So, by adding this we will get sum x square that is 1642.308 for b block so, 1 minus 1642.308 by 10,000 we will get 0 0.84. Thus, we will get all the percentage, all the values of Gibbs Martin index. And for J block, it is the lowest 0 0.41. Now, crop diversification zones. On the basis of the result, we can divide the entire region into three zones of diversification low diversification region that is the value below 0 0.5555 it is block J moderate diversification region 0 0.55 to 0 0.75 that is block A high diversification region 0 0.75 and above that is the block B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I all 8 blocks except A and J. So, uh, one question may be arise how we get this value 0 0.55, 0 0.55 to 0 0.75 and above 0 0.75 it is nothing but the um, ranges that is 0 0.41 to 0 0.85. Simply if we divide uh, 0 0.41 to 0 0.85 in 3 zones so, and 
a round figure, then we will get this these figures. Okay. So, these are the crop diversification calculation as per Gibbs and Martin. We can prepare map on the basis of this index low diversification region, moderate diversification region, high diversification region. So, J is the low diversity zone and A is the moderate diversity zone. All other eight block except this A and J high diversity zone. So, this way we can calculate this way we can calculate crop diversification zone as suggested by Gibson Martin.